Can you hear the seagulls? Welcome back to the channel. It's a new vlog now. So I've just finished tidying up and putting all my socks and garrus undies away that was hanging about. I don't look like a is. sorry like boxer, boxer shorts. shorts. Not fifty or wide fronts. <laughs> you won't be ever we'll be wearing wide fronts. No good underpants in this van. So um, I've just tidied round, and tomorrow we're going to move on up to North Berwick, crossing to the border of Scotland. Got us happy to stay away now that the sun's here. <laughs> it's gone now. All of them. <laughs> so I'm not going home. We're going up to North Berwick for a few days. I'm going to go sit up there and chill out. Make some vlogs for you all. With a bit of scenery in the background. I'm going to do some tea in a bit. Got us getting burgers. I don't know. He's probably just getting mashing beans to be fair with his tooth being bad. So let's see where we go. I don't think I'm going to record cooking the tea. If all interesting happens, I'll pick you up again. If not, I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. Good afternoon, it's late. It's one minute past nine. Someone beeped us this morning. Hey, hey Pews on Tour and YouTube family. If you're loving the content, here's a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. Your support means the world to us. About six o'clock to move, so I went back to bed. Don't know where you parked, but I got sleeping because I'm petty like that. <laughs> I think it was one at work, Memphis Bridge, but unlucky, shouldn't have beeped at me. I'd be moving early. Today I didn't. Up into Scotland we go today. And the sun's is sunny. Yeah, I'm very happy. So we're gonna move into Scotland. I need to get Gareth's phone off him, prize it out of his hand, put in the first destination on his phone. Then I'll put in the other one on the sat nav. See you in a bit, guys. Looking like a thunderstorm, oh, here we go, 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 easy to remember, so hard to forget, and the baby is a cow away So I'm in England, got up on the vans in Scotland. <laughs> Let me show you. Let's look at all these stickers, guys, as well. Of course, the best sticker's about to go up. I've just met these lovely lads who are doing a race for dementia for charity. So he's just going to tell you about his Facebook page. Go over and get donating. Don't be tight. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? My name's Biff. I'm one of the founders of the Monkey Ball Rally. We are currently doing a two and a half thousand mile drive in six days in Banyard for the No More Than Five Hundred Wow. Jackie Stewart's Race Against Dementia. You can find us easily by going to Facebook. Uh, our Facebook page is Monkey Ball Rally. At the top of that page, there's a big blue button. It says Learn More. If you click on that, that will take you to our Just Giving page. Uh, and then donate whatever you can. Help us get to that magic £5,000 that we're, we're trying so desperately to reach. Uh, and other than that, watch all our live videos. Like, share, comment, all the usual gubbins. Uh, and keep it safe, keep it Monkey Ball. Keep it safe, keep it Monkey Ball. Right, Gareth's going to do some research, he's going to get on the Facebook page and he's going to drop the link. Make sure you go over and give him a donation, guys. See you in a bit. Gareth's doing the photos for that. I'm going to show you the cars, guys, because they're amazing. Yeah, yeah. Wow, look at these. So all these cars, guys, cost them less than £500 to buy. Look at this one with the dogs. There's a better one. Making sure I'm not getting run over. I'm going to check my camera. <laughs> Look at these guys. These are sick, I'm not going to lie. These are amazing. Well done, lads. Keep up the good work. 
going to nip to my um, they even give me a free respond but I'm going to go to my van and get some money and make a donation I'll get them some stickers while I'm there give me a flag as well I am going to show you what I actually came to show you it's a bit mucky but there you go guys Scottish border keep up the good work lads <laughs> they was alright them in them cars yeah these are the ones we've just met at the monkey ball they're all travelling in cars that cost less than £500 they're going from Skeggy up to Land's End then on to John O'Groats sorry going to John O'Groats two and a half thousand miles yes they're doing two and a half thousand in cars that cost them less than £500 they've decorated them they've painted them we've just been talking to them raising money for dementia they're really good lads what are you doing? <laughs> gonna get out I'm just gonna show you the view from inside I will get out in a bit and show you I'm gonna go on the beach but I'm gonna get out and show you my view from the van excuse that Ugh. look at this oh <laughs> I've been wanting to come here for ages you know ages I'm gonna sit on the grass there with my chair Maybe read a book. I'm gonna get my binoculars out. <laughs> see if I can see a dolphin. <laughs> so this is exactly where we are, guys. I'm gonna get Gareth to drop a what three words. Let's get the what three words, Gareth. I've been wanting to come here for proper ages, like I said. I'm gonna plunk my chair right here. <laughs> Weather's beautiful. Perfect. Where's friend? Hello. Kept growling at me, I don't know if he likes me or not. <laughs> She's at it again. We oh. was here. Remember guys, wherever we're putting these stickers, we're hiding the cups. I don't, don't think we've, we've been forgetting to tell them. Do you know what? I'm going to actually record me hiding a cup here before I leave. Yeah. Well, if you ever find our sticker, we put a cup and it's only about 10 spaces away from it. So tag us on Facebook if you find a sticker or a cup. So guys, I'm just going to make some breakfast. I've got some bacon in the oven for me because I like it crispy. Gareth's getting a tin of um, beans and mini sausages. <laughs> as his finest. He's still got two fake, so he's sticking to soft food. It's a bit better today, to be fair. I do need to ring the dentist later. What time is it? It's five past eleven, so I might give him a ring in a little bit. Normally it takes about a week to get an appointment anyway. Um, yeah. So I definitely need to do that today chill out i'm gonna take you for a walk up that yonder there's a big hill there so we'll go for and have a look what's up there see what views we can see the gentleman next to me just said that there's boat trips as well on the end i might take you on a boat trip we'll see so i didn't even know we was going away we just decided very last minute so like i said nothing's planned is what it is i've been in the shop and i've seen in the newspaper about baby reindeer the woman that whatever the face is that pierce morgan interviewed and I actually am not a massive, I don't mind Pius Morgan, I think it's a bit of a tit, but I don't mind him. But why did you interview her when you know she's a stalker? And Keir, it's even in the papers today, that's why I'm mentioning it, that she stalked Keir Starmer. 
right? When she said she's not a stalker. If that was reversed and it was the man stalking the woman, you wouldn't have paid him for an interview, Piers. He'd have been on blasting him everywhere, but because it was a woman that was stalking a man, this is why the guy that made Baby Reen, the gift dude, gaff dude, whatever his name is, that's why he made it, because nobody believed him, because he was a man. Right? So this is my rant of the day. He had been stalking her, no way on this planet, you would have paid him, Piers Morgan, for an interview, but because she was a woman, you did. Tut, tut, tut. Shame, shame, shame. Also, the woman's psychotic. Somebody lock her up. Put her on a 28-day-old or something. She tapped in her red. Send it to me, I'll sort it out. <laughs> so guys, this this stairway is literally opposite the van. Sorry. <laughs> opposite the van. So let's see where this is gonna take us. Should we go up for a walk up this hill? It's amazing place. It is. I'm hoping when we get up there we get a really good view. I've got a good view already. Of course you have I'm in it. <laughs> Come a van, and my view. The solar panel's big enough. I know, to be fair, to be fair, I know I took the mick out of you with a solar panel when you got here. Yeah. But these last three, four days, it has more than done the job. My big 200 kilowatt, is it 200 kilowatt, big un? Two hundred kilowatt. Is it that what it is? What what's two hundred kilowatt? The big power bank. Two thousand four hundred watts. Two thousand four hundred watts. <laughs> power bank charges in a couple of hours on that solar panel. It's crazy. And before, on the two hundred watt one that it was on the little one, it was taking three days. <laughs> yeah. So it's charging in a few hours on that, and I'm not exaggerating there, people. And then the other two hundred watt we hooked up to the unit. And we've not had no problems whatsoever, no. have we? No. Full power. We, we full can, power. Even when it, it was in the fog, full power. And that big unit brings in between 400 and 460 normally, doesn't it? When it's sunny, when it's not, when it's charging. Even in the fog, it was drawing in 180, 200, what, what, whatever it is. 180, 200. What's in the fog? So that'll do us amazing in winter. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you all know. Because I hate when Gareth's right. So we've had three days of no sun completely, just before we did all this vlogging like, and we used 9% in three days. That is amazing. When you need a watt, you need watts, don't you, Rian and Dan? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get up this hill. Listen, I know I'm not the fittest bird on the planet. So you're telling me there's a chance. But... I'm not kidding yet, these are like seven inch, seven to eight, nine, ten inch deep. Is that about? I've only got little legs. Views from up here, I've just found another little snicket. We're going to follow it, see where it goes. The Glen Golf Club. It's a golf club, Gareth's been watching that dude trying to put his ball over there. Perfect find this place, you know, guys. Get your thing down to North Berwick. The Glen this Golf Club, this is called. Is it? Is this way? No, that's not it, that's a golf course. Love. That golf this is a public book path, I think. But the lovely lady was chowing us <laughs> for being <laughs> interrupting a game of golf. Let's watch them take the next swing, though. Hey, that was right good, you know. She whacked it miles. <laughs> I hope she wins her husband. It's a bit uneven here, so I can't record as I'm going downhill. I'll pass it to Gareth. Look at that ball, it's just landed there. Yeah, I just watched it. So you got these guys right down there. And this ball right down here, and it's landed here, right in front of me. Look, you see it? Just passed all that elderberry stuff that, that Hugh found the Whitten still makes wine with. Elderflower. I've always wanted to try elderflower wine. Eat some then, see if it tastes to wine. That's not elderflower. Oh, isn't it? I'll show you elderflower, it's up there. I don't know what that is, but it's not elderflower. Oh. I know you see connoisseur. I know everything about gardening. I know everything about everything. I know I made the <laughs> wrong decision climbing this hill. <laughs> Why are we going to do You climbing hill? What's coming over the hill? Is it a monster? 
Is it a monster? Look how clear that water is. I'm going for a swim. I'm skinny dip in there. <laughs> These whales in there as well, love. You could join your family. <laughs> this is elderflower. Where? Eat some then. This glows from the ground. Elderflower, that was on a tree. Eat some then. No, it's not wine. See if it says so wine. There's a shark in water. I didn't say I could see it. There's a shark in that water. <laughs> Look. So this island right over here, I don't know if you'll be able to zoom in, Gareth, or send the drone. But it looks white, and apparently it's not white. It looks white from a distance because that's where all the seagulls sit on there. Crazy, isn't it? Going back. Hey. Eh? You need what? Need you just have a pee here. I can't, it's not, I don't need a pee. Oh yeah. I think Gareth stopped recording me. Why? Because no. <laughs> You're getting caught short, love. Yeah. Help me shit your pants. <laughs> I'm gonna keep recording till you do. <laughs> Listen, this is not funny. <laughs> Just go out and bush, love. Hi. Oh. Hey. Use your hand and wipe it in grass. Come on, shit your pants. <laughs> and a lovely walk out. She spoils the walk. What are you waiting for? You clenching? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anybody could see you from in there. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, but what you want to do is just. Just do it, dogs do it. Oh. I are cleaning it up though. Have you got a bag? It'll make a good thumbnail, you squatting though. <laughs> this is payback from uh, when you did it to me. Outside Gibraltar. In Gibraltar. <laughs> you know what the difference is? You can control it, I can't. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I gotta <laughs> can talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't move. If that turtle's head comes out, it's game over. Gareth, don't be recording me. <laughs> Looking for drama. <laughs> Listen, you can't put it on YouTube if I shit my pants. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> when, have, getting the tea. when have we been bothered what goes on YouTube? That's true. Oh. Nice view though, but shame it's ended short for someone, you know, spoiling it. Just squat on the floor. I'm not going on the floor. Dogs do it and just clean it up with a bag. Nobody can say no. Dogs do it. No. What's the difference? I've held it it's too poop. Long. Uh, it's going to come out like a tsunami. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. Toilet's full. Uh, well, I guess you're cleaning it up afterward. Oh, it's right between my ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> This is painful. Gotta stop recording. I'm not, I'm recording the view, dear. I am. I'm recording the view. Oh god. You run. Run, Forrest, run! I've got my crocs in sport mode anyway. You've got your crocs in sport mode, that means you're off. Oh, no. Has it come out? I've got sweats. <laughs> I'm literally sweating. This video's gonna be an egg chip video. <laughs> hey, empty. Why did you move while I was not on the toilet? Did, no you, need. did you make it back? Just. So you didn't you didn't 
So you're disappointed? I didn't poke myself, no, love. Sorry, oh. that I didn't want to crap myself on camera for you. <laughs> oh, I've got my binoculars out. I'm going to do a bit of... Whale watching, dolphin watching, whatever it is. I want to see what I can see in the sea. I was going to get my chair out, but... It does say no camping behaviour, so... Pack my ass on this um, bit of wood. See how I'll let you know. So I've just come from Waterdown Beach. Pretty sure I've come from the end. I think I meant to go down out there, not where I get on my arm. Yeah, I'm not getting down that. Yeah, that won't be happening. I'm going to go back up here where my van's parked. Come from away, I think, people. There's a big black crow. Can you see him? He's following me. They've been following me for weeks, crows, magpies. I've got some bad news coming, I think. You either climb to get down or you walk down there. I don't mind walking down. But I'm going to go for a walk down there tomorrow, I think. So unless something interesting happens, I might show you what I'm doing for tea later, like. But I'm just going to chill out and get my binoculars out and look out at the sea then, I think. Can't beat it, can you? Who are you spying on? The rowers. They're out there in a rowboat. Uh, why are you using binoculars with no glasses on? Because I, I. You're blind as a bat. I did it. You can focus in on them. It'd work if you put them the other way around. See further. <laughs> but you can't see outside, so there's no camping. I'm, I burnt my forehead. Turn binoculars round, you can see. Further. <laughs> How far apart do you think my eyes are? <laughs> well, you've only got one eye, haven't you? Yeah, that's true. Afternoon. Gareth's having a nap. So, he's recorded the Tyson Fury fight that we paid for. 25 quid. Let's put a video on YouTube. I'll have 10,000 views in a day. I think they took it down. I'll record his reaction when he gets up. So Cass just woke up from his nap, people. Yeah. I might have some bad news for you. What? He's pregnant. I think that YouTube have taken your video down. What? I think YouTube have taken your video down. Have <laughs> I can't find it. I can't find it on your YouTube and I can't find it on mine. Mm. Have they removed it? His reading lock. Yeah, he moved it. Oh dear. It's up at 13,000 views. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well. So I take it you can't post sporting events? This means your video can no longer be viewed. Yeah. You almost had a viral video, love. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Good Sid. 13,000 views it was at. <laughs> We weren't sure if it was allowed to go up anywhere. We had a try. Guess not. I never again will go down underground. Now this is what you call van life. <laughs> Love it. Entertainment, dear. I know. It's quite good. Yeah, it sounds all right, actually. It does. It's quite good. Carry on, sing it a bit. I'm going to perform it. Don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> I need it oh, in love. So I just want to show you this the Pinky tinge in the sky, can you see it? I'm hoping the pinky orangey colour means that we're going to get in the northern lights Hopefully And we've almost, almost got a full moon Right guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, and comment, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up, and if you leave a thumbs down, that's for you. If you see us out and about, don't be shy, come up and ask for a sticker, we have some beakers, if we've got them, 
more than welcome to have them. But we're not going to ask you if you want them. You have to ask us. Don't forget. See, see you on, on the, the next, next one. one. Roll up to the greatest show in the world.